All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to create pages in Divi. There's several ways we can do this. We can either design our page from scratch, we can use pre-made layouts, or we can clone an existing page. So what we're going to do in this video is show you how you can use pre-made layouts. All right, let's dive in. So over here, uh, to create a brand new page, you come over here to pages, click on add new. So you can give this page a name. So I'm just gonna call this pre-made, use Divi Builder. All right, so uh, we've been talking about building the page from scratch, and this is where I was showing you how the builder works. Now let's go into the pre-made layout. So if I click here on choose pre-made layout, we're going to get this a big massive pop-up here, which shows us all these pre-made designs. Now what is cool here is we can actually go in and see the designs. We can narrow them down here by category. So let's say we wanna go to uh, fashion and beauty. I can just click here and fashion and beauty has showed up and then I can choose whatever layout that um, that I want uh, that I want to work with. So let's say I want to use um, maybe I want to go with this layout here. OK, so I can click here and notice what happens. This gives us a quick preview of what this layout looks like. So this is the live demo. So we can take a look here. And this is the layout that we have. So you can decide quickly if this is the layout that you want. So here are the other pages. So at the moment, we're looking at the, lay at, at the landing. Uh, if I click here on the home, it loads up here so I can scroll down and see, OK, hmm, maybe this layout is something I can use as a starting point. So if you're happy with this, all you need to do is to click on use this layout. And what's going to happen now is all the contents of this layout is going to be loaded on the page. And this is one of the quickest ways you can get pages designed really, really, really fast. So I highly recommend that if you want to get a website up and running super fast, this is the way. Now take a look now and see what has happened. So over here, I have all the assets that I need for my website. All I have to do now is to go in and make my adjustments. Now remember, I uh, in the previous videos, I went through how this works. So if I click here on section settings, this is now, in fact, let me just switch over here to the left. This now is going to give me all the access to everything that I need to work on here. Now there's a key, and this is very, very important when you work with pre-made layouts. It's going to be very difficult for you to find where all these changes are made. So I wanna share with you one really good tip. So let's say you are not sure what was done to the background, all you need to do is to click here on these three little dots and then you can say view modified styles. So if, you, so if you click here, this now is telling me everything that was modified on this section. And this is pretty cool. So let's see. This is telling me this is the color they used. So I can just change here and boom. OK, so I can see now that's where the color was changed. So if I want to change that color to my own color, I can just add my own. And just by doing that, I've just added my own color super fast. Look at that. So I can adjust my colors here and save. Next, if you hover over here, you can say, okay, I wanna change um, maybe this text here. So all you have to do is to click on this gear icon. It opens up. And remember my quick tip, if you use this pencil icon or paintbrush icon, this is going to take you directly to the font. So here I am, I can change my font color. And just like that, I have now started customizing the design of this page. I've changed the background color. I've changed the font. Now, if I need to go in and change the text itself, so I can just go in and say by Mac, for example, modern fashion design uh, by Mac. So let's remove that. So this is how you would go in and make changes to the text or even the sizes. So if I come over here again, I'm going to go back, click here on this paintbrush icon, and it's going to take me over here directly to what I can customize. I can reduce the size here until I get it to the exact size that I want. So now I think that looks great. I can save this, move on to the next item. So you can do this pretty much across the whole design. Now, if you want to change images, you can go in and change these images, replace them with yours. And this is why I said this is very easy for us to go in and start working with this really, really fast. So that is how you use your pre-made layouts. So once you're done with that, you can just save this, publish it, and your page is published. The other option is to choose from a clone uh, page that is existing on your website. So when you open up the builder, when it gives you those three options, you can just choose the clone uh, option, and this will clone an existing page on your website.